This tutorial shows you how to modify the labels in a Maptitude map. You can change the style of labels for an entire layer, a feature display, a selection set, or even an individual feature on the map. Use the Display Manager to make most changes to labels. If the Display Manager is not visible, choose Map Display Manager Toolbar. Click the label symbol next to an item to change its label settings. Choose the font, style, and other settings and click OK. Maptitude updates the label on the map. Labels on areas are normally placed at the center of an area and set to prevent overlaps. Notice that the Isle of Man label is no longer shown because it would overlap with the United Kingdom label. Also notice that the Ireland label is partially cropped when it is centered within its area. If you do not want to see a partial label like this, you can check this box. And when I click Apply, you can see that the partial label is no longer displayed. However, you can also choose the Smart Alignment option. This tells map to do to try and fit the area label somewhere in the visible portion of the map. Notice now that Ireland and France are labeled on the map. Maptitude also moves the United Kingdom label to make room for the Isle of Man label. In general, you will want to use Smart Alignment with your labels to maximize the number of features that get labeled. On the Overlaps tab, you can choose to use an alternate field if there's not enough room for the entire label. For example, I can choose to show the country code if there is not enough room for the whole country name. You can see that when I click Apply, there is now room for a label in Belgium. You can also choose to prioritize the labels. For example, if you want to make sure that the country label is always displayed, you might want to change the priority to the highest level. Whereas, for labels on streets, you likely will want to make those a rather low priority. You can choose to make sure that countries with a higher population or larger area get labeled before other countries. The reason the United Kingdom label was displayed earlier when I increased the size of the labels was because the labels are set to prioritize based on higher population, and the United Kingdom is a higher population than the Isle of Man. And finally, you can choose at what scales labels should be visible by entering values in the largest and smallest drop-down lists. With these settings, countries will be labeled as long as the map scale is not smaller than 1 to 20 million. On the background tab, you can choose to use shields if you're labeling highway numbers, for example, Frames, or you can use shadows or halos and set their opacity. You can customize individual labels with the custom label tool. For example, you can move a label. And you can change the style of a label by double clicking on it. You can use this tool to add a callout line. You can hide a label by right clicking and choosing Hide. And you can use this tool to rotate a label. Finally, you can restore any label that you have moved or rotated by right-clicking on it and choosing Restore Default Location. And you can restore all labels to their default locations by choosing Map, Labels, Undo Label Customizations. You can use any field to label a layer. For example, I'm going to turn on the postcode area layer and hide the city layer just so the map doesn't get too cluttered. I've already attached some of my own data to the postcode area layer and want to use my data for the labels. For example, I'm going to choose the Customers field from this drop-down list, and when I click OK, you can see the areas are labeled with a number of customers. Let me open the Labels dialog box again, and this time I'm going to choose to label the areas with the sales data, and choose a different format for the values. When I click OK, you can see the areas are now labeled with my sales data. Finally, there is an option to use more than one field in the label. I have a selection set of the provinces in the United Kingdom and I want to change those labels. This time I'll choose multiple fields from the field drop-down list, choose some fields that I want to see in the label such as name and population, and Maptitude gives me the option of using different colors for the fields, so I'll display the population in black. Now when I click OK you can see the UK provinces are now labeled with the two fields. And that wraps up this tutorial on labeling features in Maptitude.